Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your footage look like it was shot in 2005. That's right, I'm going to be showing you how you can get this low resolution look on your footage with just a couple of effects inside of After Effects. This tutorial is super in depth so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end. But if you guys don't want to watch this tutorial, I'll have presets linked down below that you guys can instantly drag and drop and get the look immediately. So if you're interested in those, they'll be linked down below. I'm starting a new tradition with my channel. I'm super into Pokemon cards right now and I'm going to be ripping one pack per video. So we're going to start off with this Destiny Rivals pack right here. If you guys don't know much about Pokemon cards, they're basically pieces of cardboard that are super super cool and you can pull very rare ones from packs now the one that i'm looking for in this is a mewtwo so we got taros more peko larvitar blood pig oriporon mimikyu more Grim, typhlosion flaffy and meg's cargo so this is not a good pack we got a hollow Anyways, let's hop right into the video. So opened up inside of After Effects here, we have the two Hollis Flash music video, and we're gonna find a frame that we can start on. I'm gonna start on this one right here. So the very first effect that we're gonna be using to kind of put this whole thing together is Sapphire JPEG damage. So if we go ahead and drag that on, you do need Sapphire for this. You guys can see immediately it starts to give that look, and you can play around with the quality here and the res factor. I recommend turning the res factor up just like that. And that's how you're gonna get the base for like the distorted look. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and apply the next Sapphire one called Flicker right here. Go ahead and put this on here as well. And I recommend just leaving it as the basics, right? And we're gonna go back to our scene right here. Now that we have our two bases, we are now gonna mess around with the curves. So if you go ahead and drag and drop the curves on here, I recommend making two points, one here and then one here and then one in the middle. And we're just gonna drag this one up and then drag this one down. And we're gonna leave it at that. Now we're gonna go into Unsharp Mask drag and drop that over everything and we're going to turn the amount all the way up just like so and then turn the radius to around five and you guys can see we're already starting to kind of get that look immediately right there i recommend bringing the unsharp mask below the jpeg damage it's up to you guys however you want to go ahead and frame it and then once that's on there you can go ahead and turn up or down the quality or the res factor to your liking to get it how you want and then i recommend putting on a hue and saturation as well just below everything and go ahead and turn the master saturation down to around like negative 30 or negative 40, just like so. You guys can see immediately, we're already kind of starting to get this look. I'll go ahead and select all of them. And if I turn them off and on, you guys can see we're getting the look super, super clean. Now, if you want to go ahead and add the base glow, you can go ahead and put that down as well. You do have to mess around with it. I recommend turning like the intensity down to like 0.1. And then if you are going to have it in here, kind of find the right spot for it. So you can see that kind of adds a little bit to it there we have without it and then with it and if you want to go ahead and add another curves as well you can put that on top of everything i'm just going to kind of drag this one down here just like so and then we'll find the right place for that i think is there and you guys can see immediately just how fire this looks here before and then after with the look that we created on it super super clean once again if you guys want to go down below and download this preset that i have i put this one together super quick but if we go ahead and drag on if we go ahead and drag on the preset that i have here the low res preset you guys can see that this one is a lot more in depth and has way more effects inside of here so if you guys are interested in checking this out i highly recommend it it'll be linked below anyways if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a like i'll see you in the next video tomorrow peace